once more. Thank you, Chair. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to the European Parliament. My great respect for stance of uh, uh, all of you. I'm happy to see uh, Mr. Navalny in good health. I, actually, I would like to raise two issues. You are right that for uh, almost 20 years already, elections in Russia have been for, uh, falsified. Uh, and we stress this uh, in the European Parliament. Uh, you are among usual suspects, uh, and, and we are probably the most outspoken European institution in this uh, respect. Uh, uh, you are also right, uh, right to 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 indicate uh, similarities with the uh, Belarusian uh, situation. Yet it is Lukashenko learning from Putin, obviously, and most probably also testing some of the uh, measures that Putin wants to 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 introduce or or already introduced in in uh, Russian Federation. Uh, democracy in Russia is extremely important and probably poisoning of Mr. Navalny was because Putin was afraid of, of, of uh, this uh, pattern from Belarus. But my, my question goes to all of you, because we know that Putin is able to consolidate his own uh, citizens also with eventuality of external action, aggressive action in time of crisis with the, uh, lowering support. Are you, are you ready to convey this clearly to, with limited possibilities? I'm aware of this to your own people that actually, in particular since 2014, illegal annexation of, of Crimea, uh, it is impossible to, to consider elections uh, um, uh, free and, and fair and, and valid, even with higher participation of opposition. Uh, so that is my concern, uh, actually. And second one, after imp implementing changes, constitutional changes, uh, Putin started the consolidation of, of uh, uh, also administrative uh, resources, introducing what we virtually assess as military economy. Uh, it was under excuse of COVID-19, but actually it was mostly used uh, for, for political purposes to, to better, uh, let's say, uh, introduce this information and, and uh, risk grasp on society. What is your reflection on this? Thank you.